Hello, hello, I'm Li Hao. So for the past few days, I've been cleaning up uh, Svelte GitHub issues. Um, not, I'm not sure I, I clean up all of them, but I've gone through a few of them, uh, make some changes, add some PRs and things like that. And while I was doing it, I was thinking that maybe, maybe some of you may be interested in this kind of uh, videos, like um, how do I actually go through Svelte issues and how do I fix them? So, uh, but at the same time, you wouldn't want me to see me coming through them because it's it's very boring. Uh, basically, I'm like doing it intermittently. I like look through some issues and then maybe wander off watching some YouTube videos and then come back again or maybe go for a toilet break, snack break and things like that. Uh, but um, I decided to record it on my screen, just the screen. And you know, I try to trim some of the pieces together and do some voice over across them. So uh, here are they. I've made a few videos. So this is the one that you're watching now is one of them. And yeah, so I see how many of them actually made it through. And if you like this kind of videos, uh, you know what to do. Smash the like button um, so that YouTube algorithm knows that this is a good video and they will suggest to more people to watch. And good for me as well so that I know that you are really interested to this kind of video then I'll see my, I'll try my best to do more of this kind of videos, right? So, um, so that's it. Enjoy the video. Let's take a look at this issue over here. It says select value not correctly displayed if it has spread attributes. Okay, let's, uh, it's a good thing that he provide a REPL. So we just take a look at how to reproduce this issue. So I have two very similar select code over here, except one is with attri uh, spread attributes. And now you see that the value on the right, uh, on the right, you see the value for the first selector is selected for the first option. Uh, second option but this one is selected on first option right so uh, in both cases it should select the second option which is the correct one but somehow with a spread attribute it does not work right if i remove this select the right thing if i unremove uh, i'm selecting or rather i would say it's not selecting anything or select the first uh, options which is yeah by default behavior okay so this is this is wrong and Actually, I've seen this kind of issue before. When you have spread, what happens is that it's the attributes is being treated differently as if you don't have spreads, right? So if you have spread, we will try to merge all the attributes together into like one object and then try to assign it, assign all the attributes to the select element. However, there's cases where attribute itself has a special meaning to the element. For example, in this case, value itself, if you checked, if you look at a uh, select element from and the end, you'll find that actually select element does not have this attribute called value, right? Um, it's rather it's, yeah, so it does not have a v attribute called value, rather it's, uh, the value attribute is actually on the attribute itself, right? So uh, option itself, right? So um, this is actually a special case attributes. So this attribute actually just means something for Svelte, but it does not mean anything to the HTML uh, if it's concerning the DOM element, the select element itself. right? So if we merge every attribute into one big object and try to assign all of them, uh, assign each of the attributes after we merge, assign it back to the element itself, then we does not take care of the special case of this value attribute. So a lot of times we will have to um, take care of that, like take notice of that. Right, so um, let's see how it's being handled. Right, so if you look at the compile code over here, um, you notice, let's see where it should be. Okay, over here, right? So when you have, when you are like normally adding attributes, like normal attributes over here, this is the, this should be the code for the first select, right? Select zero. And this should be the second select, right? So you see that over here, there's this line called select option and select the value called val one, right? But if it's in over here, it does not handle the case, oh, not quite. So there's a, it handles the case where there's a multiple 
attributes on this uh in in the merge data so select one underscore data is actually the the merge data right so we try to loop through all the attributes and merge it in a runtime because you know uh, some of the attributes may change and things like that right we, we uh, can be dynamic and things like that right so we merge everything into one um, object called select one data and we check if select one data actually have multiple then this is actually a multiple um, attribute select uh, select element right so you see here is we just assign like we we loop in this set attributes we actually loop through these objects and assign all the attributes onto it but value itself is special which needs special handling like this case where you have to do select option and then yeah select an option rather than setting a, a value attribute to the select element itself right so we need to handle that over here regardless whether it's multiple or not so maybe with multiple you call select option uh, if it's multiple you call select options right and you pass in the value attribute itself uh rather, sorry the value um the value property from these the merge attributes object right so uh so if we since we by looking at the compile code we know that okay this is something we need to change we need to add also the select option then things get easier so the thing we're gonna do is we're gonna search for this line right search for this line and try to change our code over there okay so let's um create a branch over here first so usually i will use the issue number as the branch name uh done gh branch name okay and let's start coding so we're gonna search for that uh this line of code right so we're gonna find wh where we insert this line so we can maybe search for something like this so we don't touch any variables like select one data select we try to search for like just like functions or keywords and things like that right because these variables are uh, the names are dynamic generated so i'm gonna search for and because select options is importing from svelte uh how svelte internal so how it works is that when we generate a code uh, we actually append with a at alias so anything from alias actually will will later on uh, be transformed once more to to refer to whatever is importing from the Svelte internal. So you can safely define any variable name called select options like over here and it does not conflict with the select options from the Svelte internal, right? So uh, so how we do that is that when we are writing a code, we, we use an add prefix to the function so that later on we, we will find all this add uh, prefix variables and then we we do another round of transform to say to refer them to the one that we're importing from Svelte internal okay so uh i believe this okay we we have two searches but it's on the same place so i i believe this is where we are looking for so uh yeah it says add spread attributes right so we have a special handling for spread attributes okay so i believe that over here what we need to do is we need to check uh, I think we need to, regardless whether it's multiple or not, we have to select options, right? So, uh, before I change anything, I want to make sure that uh, our code changes actually fixes it. We're going to create test case first, right? So, we create test case, make sure that it failed because we haven't changed anything, and then we uh, fix it, and then we run the, uh, run the test again, and hopefully that uh, by that time, it will pass, right? So, I, let's create a test case first. So we're gonna come over here, test runtime. So this, we're gonna run some code, right? So this is a runtime test case. Um, I, let's see, maybe, yeah, this is this is a very huge list of um, test cases. Okay, I think we can add over here. So select input, uh, spread element input select. Okay, and we're gonna test both things, uh, both test cases. So we're gonna add solo. Um, yeah, the, the reason of testing this select multiple test case, which is the existing test case, is just that make sure we don't introduce regression. So for now, when we make changes, we're just gonna test these two test cases first. As long as these two works, I believe uh, we don't introduce other regressions on other test cases, right? 
um, if we do, uh, hopefully we'll be cached during the CI, right? So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to just remove this, select value, okay. Looks good, I guess it looks good, uh, except that value itself can be um, one thing, right? So I'm going to just say hello. Uh, export let's value hello uh, okay roll let's make it this way first okay so first is let's take a look at how we're gonna test this uh, uh, we don't have input anymore okay so we we select for the select we have two child nodes okay selection okay so to test it actually we need that there's no attribute uh, or whatever from the select element that tells us that whether the um, the options is selected. So we actually have to select all the options elements and then we we actually have an attribute called selected options and see whether this selected options includes uh, our option, right? So uh, so by default, because we only select the first one, we're going to say selected, the length of selected options is one and selected uh, does not include the first one and includes the second one. Okay, on change. Uh, then what we're going to make changes is that we're going to say so, uh, component dot value equals to hello. Uh, I'm going to make sure that hello. Okay, we're going to make sure that thing still works. So we're going to check uh, the first one is selected and the second one is not selected. Okay, and then let's see, we can um, change the spread, right? We can change the spread. I'm gonna say uh, spread, I'm gonna change it back to world instead. So the value is hello, but the spread is world. And let's see, so we was gonna have uh, only one selected uh, the first one is not selected. Second one is selected. Okay, so let's let's try run this test case. So I'm gonna run Yan quick test. So Yan test will uh check type checking and linting before we run test. Uh, that is useful for CI, but in in local development, usually I just run a quick test to quickly run the test on the test case without running linting and uh type checking. Okay, so this is wrong, right? So the first um this test case failed um. So here, uh, okay, so this is selected, right? So that's error. So let's, let's change the code now. So here, regardless of whether it's multiple or not, we are gonna call select option, right? So it's either select options or select option, right? So here, if you look at here, you see that select option is select one, select options is multiple, right? So uh, I am gonna, do this over here like this. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have a ternary expression. Maybe data dot multiple. Uh, else select option. Right. Okay, and for the update statement as well, okay, let's move, remove this and do this over here. Right, I think that's it. Um, I feel like we can even simplify the code. Let's see, select option. Yeah, we can simplify the code where we can have the ternary over here instead. And uh, since they are calling the same at same parameters, right? So uh I'm gonna call this over here like this and call the same parameter, right? So copy this and update over here. Right, so this is the case where this is this is being called when there's when you mount the elements. This is when something has changed, right? So uh, if you scroll down over here later on, you'll still see this way. If if something has changed, then you will run this. Okay, so let's save. So uh, to to build when we 
to build our code, I'm gonna run, run dev and it will start a watcher to watch and build our code. Okay, and it's done. So I'm gonna come over here on another tab and gonna run yarn quick test. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, wow. Okay, we passed all the tests. Great, that's, I think that's all, that's it. I'm gonna uh, revert this solo. I'm gonna remove this solo so that you'll run all the tests, right? And I'm gonna add all the files changes. Right, only one line of change. So I'm gonna, I can't believe this is still a bug, uh, but you know, there's a lot of hash cases that uh, we didn't really handle well, especially uh, in say more advanced features like uh, spreads, transitions, and things like that. So let's see, I'm gonna say fix, um, select value with spread. Okay, you're gonna push this change. And I'm gonna create a merge request and that's it. So if you like this video or this kind of content, comments down below. Let's see, okay. I kind of unable to concentrate and talk about two things at once. I'm gonna check all this first, right? Uh, this is a fix. Okay, so I've created a merge request and that's it. I'll link the pull request in the comments if you're interested to learn about it. And before we end this video, I wanted to share something where I actually set up a site called Buy Me A Coffee, which allows you to sponsor me uh, or support me uh, if you like these kind of videos, right? So this, uh, your support will keep me, do, uh, allow me to uh, have more financial support to continue making this kind of video. So if you like my content and you would like to support me, you can visit buymeacoffee.com slash uh, which is L-I-H-A-U-T-A-N. And you can become a member which supports me on every month. That would be amazing. Or you can do a one-time support where you buy me a multiple of cop fees that, yeah, I will thank you when I ring them. <laughs> so that's all for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And that's all. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.